Okay, fifth graders, 8-8, eight eight, and um, hopefully my brain is working a little better than yesterday, although I feel about the same. <laughs> so <laughs> let's see if we can get through this lesson uh, pretty quickly. This is just a, really another way to look at multiplying whole numbers by fractions, and, and they're referring it to um, uh uh, scaling or resizing. Uh, I kind of like to look at it as, as resizing. And here this girl has knitted some scarves, yada, 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 and then they change the, the some scarves uh, shrank, Ellen's scarf shrank, and then uh, Joe's scarf stretched. And um, if, if we just take the number four, for example, which is what they used, and if I, if I multiply um, four times one uh, you know anything times one is going to be itself it hasn't changed but what if I multiplied four times one half okay some of you hopefully most of you know half of four is two and so um, notice that one half of course is less than one so anytime you multiply a whole number by another number that's less than one, it's going to be smaller. In other words, the four became the two. It's smaller than it was before. But what if we multiply four times one and one half? Okay, so now we're multiplying it by a number greater, by a number greater than one. And so anytime you multiply a number by another number that's greater than one, it becomes larger. And so uh, what's well, four times one? It's four. Um, what's four times one half? That was two. So in this case, we would just add them together, and so four times one and a half is six. The main thing I want you to remember is that any time you multiply a number, uh, any number, whether it's one, whether it's five hundred or sixty thousand, by another number that's less than one, then that number is going to resize. It's going to be smaller. If you multiply it by a number that's greater than one, it's going to be larger. All right. Um, let's see here. What's the convince me say? Soon it a scarf for a friend June. It was also four feet long after a month. The length of the scarf of June's scarf could be represented by the expression three over three times four. How did her scarf change? Well, you should know by now, any number over itself is the same as one. So three over three times four is the same as one times four. And um, um, so it is unchanged. All right, any number over itself is equal to one, all right? Let's drop down to the guided practice here. Let's take a look here. Um, do you understand uh, why does multiplying a number by three and a half increase its value? Because three and one half is greater than one kind of a no-brainer if you ask me which of the following are less than eight okay well let's look at the first one here all right eight times nine tenths is nine tenths less than one yes it is so um, this one is less than eight so how about um, eight times 7 over 6. Now, what do we have here? 7 over 6. What's that called? Do you guys remember? That's an improper fraction where the numerator, that's what's on top, is larger than the denominator that's on the bottom. So, uh, this is greater than 1. So, um, which of the following are less than 8? Well, no. So, it's actually going to be greater than 8. So, it's not the second one. How about the third one? 3 fifths times 8. All right, 3 fifths is a fraction. It's less than 1. 
that's going to be less than 8. So those two right there. Oh, let's see here. What else have we got? Um, without multiplying, decide which symbol belongs in the box. Less than, greater than, or equal to. So number three. Uh, so we've got three and a half times two thirds is okay. So three and a half is greater than one. All right, and so two thirds is going to be larger than than it is. Uh, how can I explain this? It's going to be larger than it is now. So three and a half times two thirds is going to be greater than two thirds. Okay. How about four fifths times two thirds? Okay, is four fifths greater than one? No, it's less than one. So four fifths times two, th two and two thirds, I should be saying, I'm just saying two thirds. F four fifths times two and two thirds is going to be less than two and two thirds. Um, I'll let you do number five on your own. Looks like they're going to be doing, you're going to do a lot of these here. Um, the independent practice. Um, how about number 13? Let's pick something kind of obvious here. Number 13. One half, which we know is less than one, times one and two fifths is less than, greater than, or equal to one and two fifths. All right. It's going to be less than because you're making one and two fifths smaller because you're multiplying it by a number that's less than one. Um, how about number eight here? One and I'm looking at number eight. One and two sevenths is less than greater than or equal to one and two sevenths times five over five. What's five over five? It's the same thing as one. So does it change the one and two sevenths? When anytime you multiply a number by one, it doesn't change. That one's gonna be equal to. Okay, um, <coughs> let's see here. Um, without multiplying, order the following products from least to greatest. <clears throat> okay, so I see what's happening here. Looks like they're, uh, these are all the same. Three-fifths, 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 but each one of them, they're multiplying them by a different number. Some of the numbers are uh, less than one, some are greater than one, some are equal to one. So um, two is obviously greater than one. What's the largest number that we're multiplying by? Looks like it's going to be the two and a quarter. So that one's going to be the largest. So that would be the first one I would list. Um, so I guess I have to rewrite the whole thing. That's kind of silly. Um, so two and two and one quarter times three fifths. That's the first one. The second one. What's the second largest one? That's going to be the two. Two times three fifths. And what's the next largest one? We have a three quarter left and we have a five over five left. Well, what's the five over five equal to? That's equal to one. So five over five times three fifths. And then finally, the last one would be uh, the three quarters times three fifths. Okay, that one's done for you. So you guys can do 19, 20, 21. All right, let's go to the next page here. Um, 
problem solving who ran further by the end of the week how much further so you know that when I look at this the first thing I, I, I think about is compatible numbers so look at here's you know Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Monday she this gal she ran one and a half miles Tuesday she ran a half a mile so compatible numbers half plus a half is one so one and a half plus another half is two I'm gonna just put that two right there all right two plus any other compatible numbers oh yeah heck yeah look at this here's a quarter and then here's three quarters what's a quarter plus three quarters that's one how easy is that I'm gonna put that down and now I'll just go ahead and add the two and the well there's nothing else I could just add a two all right what's that leave me one and a half plus one and one half equals well two plus one is three plus two more is five plus one more is six six and one half uh, what, did, what did she run miles yeah I guess miles so six and one half miles we talked about compatible numbers like in the first couple chapters anyways you can do uh, you <laughs> you not you but you <laughs> sorry making fun of that guy's name okay um, let's see here be precise Ethan took a quiz 15 questions he answered three-fifths of the questions correctly okay how many did he get wrong okay so figure out how many he answered correctly for starters so it's gonna be what 15 times three quarter or I'm sorry three fifths which is the same as 15 um, over one times three fifths you can do that that's gonna tell you how many answered correctly and I don't know what that number is but let's just say let's say it's 11 it's not 11 I don't think it is um, but if it is if he answered 11 correctly then out of 15 questions how many did he get wrong he would have four wrong so don't forget to <coughs> to factor that in <coughs> okay uh, I think you guys can do the rest of these um, a taffy pole stretched it three let's see to three feet as far as George Maurice as far as George who stretched it the farthest and the least yeah you guys think about that you can do that one some of those numbers are less than one some of them are greater than one some of them are hello equal to one whoops okay I think Write each expression in the correct uh, space of the products that are four and a half and those that are greater than four and a half. Okay. All right, so let's just do this one, for example. Less than four and a half, greater than four and a half. So here's the first one. The first one is uh, four uh, times four and a half. Well, is, is four times four and a half going to be greater than four and a half or less than four and a half? It's going to be right here. Four, it's going to be greater. Four times, they don't give me much room to work here. Four and one half. Holy cow, you got to write really small. That one's done. Okay. All right, um, that's it. I'm done. And uh, I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. And um, that's it. I'm not at school, of course, distance learning Wednesdays. Talk to you later.